Release the Kraken! Greetings fellow game designers, Ron here at Link Duck Studios, and today we're going to talk about non-manifold geometry. Well, what is non-manifold geometry? Well, simply put, it is any geometry that cannot be logically unfolded. Another way to think of non-manifold geometry is to think of it as non-watertight, because in many 3D applications and video games, the backside of a polygon has no surface, and therefore cannot hold water. Throughout this video, we're going to talk about the various types of non-manifold geometry, the way they're created, and ways to prevent them, and of course, ways to solve them. Because at some point in your 3D modeling career, you're going to come across non-manifold geometry, and if you don't know how to deal with it, you're going to have a bad time. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first type of non-manifold geometry, adjacent bases. So go ahead and drop in a uh, plane here. And all I'm going to do is pull out one of the edges. So I'm going to go ahead and just make this, I'll subdivide this by two. There we go. We have two faces here. And if I turn on face normals, display uh, polygons, and then face normals, you'll see the normals show us the direction the faces are facing. Let's say you're working, and at some point, somehow, you get a face that turns backwards. You'll end up with something like this. Okay, one normal one way, one normal the other. Now, this might just happen to be a uh, face that you've, you've textured, but most likely not. It's most likely inside out. And if you were to try to unfold this in the uh, UV editor here, it run into a bit of an error. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, I'll take that. Let's grab these and unfold. And there it is. It says, hey, we have non-manifold geometry. Would you like to fix it? Um, you can, of course, hit fix, and you'll get a different result. But we'll go into fixing in just a moment. So what about the second type of non-manifold geometry? Two faces joined by a single vertex. Now, this is technically non-manifold because they are joined together with a single vertex, but there's no edge. So you have the same kind of problem. If you take this and try to unfold it, Maya will be unhappy and yell at you. Okay. The third type of non-manifold geometry is three faces joined together on a single edge. Two faces? Okay, that's perfectly fine. But if I take this edge here and then extrude it, suddenly I get three faces that exist on a single edge. And Maya does not appreciate this. It does not know how to unfold it. So if you go in and try to do an unfold, it will yell at you. Okay. Now, of course, there is a fourth type of non-manifold geometry that uh, you'll run into, known as the generated faces. So we jump into our example here. Go ahead and nuke this. The generated faces are very simply faces that were never um, extruded properly. So if I take this, let me grab all of the edges here, go ahead and extrude. Doesn't look like anything happened, but if we go into a vertex face, you will see we have these edges in between. But these are not edges. These are degenerated faces. If I were to grab one, and pull it out. There it is. Same thing down here. So what do we do? How do we solve non-manifold geometry? Well, the first solution to any problem is prevention. So take our example here. If you go to extrude something, just pay attention to what you're extruding. You know you shouldn't extrude a single edge because that would cause a problem. That would give us which type? Three faces joined on a single edge. So don't do that. Also, if you go to extrude a face and you extrude and then maybe you get distracted and you click off and you come back and you go, oh, I should probably extrude that. You've just created a degenerated face. So again, prevention is the best method. So if you know you're going to extrude something, if you don't extrude it right away, Control-Z. 
to before you even selected the face. That way, you know that nothing has been hidden inside. And when you go to extrude it, make sure that you complete the extrusion. Then you won't have any surprises later. But let's say you do all those wonderful things. You follow everything to the letter. And at some point, you still end up with non-manifold geometry. How do you solve it? Okay, so here are a few different methods to solving non-manifold geometry. The first one, and my personal favorite, is the one that works the best most of the time, which is very simply to merge the vertices. So in this case, you can see we have the, the degenerated faces here. I'm going to go up into object mode. And in object mode, naturally the whole object is selected. I'm going to go up to edit mesh, come down to merge. And you can set the merge threshold to whatever you like. 0 0.01 should be fine because at this point, the generated faces should exist exactly on top of another face. So that should be plenty close for this merge process to work. Once you do it, go check it out as in vertex face mode. As you can see, the degenerated faces have now been merged down. No problem. And that solves the majority of cases with degenerated faces. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at how to solve a reversed face. This one is really, really easy. First part is recognition. Is it a reversed face? Well, which side should the face be facing? Once you decide on the direction, pick the face that you think is bad, and then go up to Mesh Display, and then Reverse. And that will flip the normal, and everything's happy. This setting is under Modeling, by the way. But what if it's not that simple? What if it's not a reversed face, or not a degenerated face? What if it's something that's hidden inside of a model? Take this cube, for example. It may look like an ordinary cube, but if we go ahead into vertex face, you can see that there is a face inside of it, and that face is welded to the inside of this cube. So I can't just move it. So if I were to grab it, for example, go inside and grab that face, and then try to move it, it's part of the cube. Well, if it's something simple, where it's just one face or a couple faces, and you can get inside the object, simply delete it. So if I go inside the cube here, I locate the bad face, delete it, and now I should be able to go through the process of unfolding, like so. Not the best unfold, but it is legal. Another method that you can use for solving non-manifold geometry is to simply let Maya handle it for you. I do not recommend these next two because they're really not the greatest, but Maya will solve it for you. It just won't solve it the way that you want it to. So let's go into UVs here, UV Editor. Uh, we're back with our cube that has a bad face on the inside. So if I look at uh, vertex face here, you can see there it is. And if I were to go in grab these and try to unfold. Maya's going to give me the warning, hey, you have non-manifold geometry. Um, would you like us to fix this? Now, there is, of course, an option to always fix. I don't recommend doing this because it will shred your model. I'm going to go ahead and hit fix. And Maya goes through and does the unfold process. Everything looks okay. But the problem is, the way Maya solves it is it goes through and checks every logical face for the direction of its normal. And then it does a little bit of microsurgery and cuts the edges that cause the non-manifold portion to be connected. So if I move this, that looks fine. Let me go in to vertex mode. I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple vertices and start pulling them. That one looks good. Oh, and there's the one that's separated. How about this one? That one was also separated. How about this one? Yep. Yep. Is this face connected to anything? Nope. Completely cut. So that is the way Maya solves it for you. As it goes through, it finds the logical edge and the direction of the normal, separates it to create individual pieces that can be unfolded. But then you're going to have to go through and do some surgery yourself to put the model back together. Sometimes it's as simple as finding the bad piece and re-merging everything. 
So for example, if I go back to before I moved everything, and I find the bad face, again, this one's on the inside. Let's go ahead and just grab it, and I'll move it out. So there's the bad face. I, of course, can delete the bad face. These are still separate because we had Maya solve it for us. As long as nothing moves, we can use the merge algorithm to merge those edges in. So I'll go ahead and merge it, and it'll go through and check the vertices for you. And if I were to move any vertex at this point, they should be combined to their neighbor, which they are. Hey, and then you can go through and reproject and solve your uh, issue. So for example, I can take this and go through and do um, like a planer. And then I can go through and unfold it the way that I want, however I like. Another method is to use Maya's built-in cleanup tool. So go ahead and select your object to object mode. Make sure you're in modeling, and then go to mesh. Come down to the bottom for cleanup, get the options. And there are a bunch of options in here. I'm not gonna go over all of them. But very simply, you can scroll down, and there is um, a setting here for non-manifold geometry. Go ahead and check that. And it'll give you some options for it how you want to deal with it. You can have it deleted, you can have it uh, cut it, or whatever not. The default settings will do the exact same thing that we had from our UV editor over here. So if I go ahead and just run it, hit apply, it's going to go through and do exactly the same thing. It's going to separate everything into logical, um, into logical faces here. And if I move it, you can see they're separated. And the face that's inside the bad has been separated. So again, this method is identical to the previous one, except you have a direct option to get to it. Now, personally, I don't recommend either of those two because it's more work for you. But if it's something that you have to do as a last resort, by all means, it's, it's available to you. Just understand that you'll have to go through and do some cleanup. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you found it helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. And if you have any questions about non-manifold geometry or how you should deal with it, uh, hit me up in the comments. I might have a, uh, a better solution for you. So thank you, and I shall see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my channel. Misty and I both thank you. If you enjoyed the video you just watched, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Also, we are at 1,500 subscribers. Woo! That is awesome possum. Rocket Flip is out. If you have not taken a look at my latest devlog, uh, it is in open beta testing. So if you want to grab a copy and test it out, see how it plays, uh, leave some feedback. Uh, it really helps me out. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I shall see you next time.